going, going, GameStop. Shares of the game retailer surging again today, at one point topping 70%. Why? Because of a meme and not much else. Our business correspondent, Alexis Christophorus, has been following it. Who knew? I mean, GameStop was up, what, more than 50% yesterday, now it's over 60%. What the heck is going on? <laughs> What's going on is GameStop mania, this this meme stock mania, I'll call it, is back in full force, Kira. And we've seen this story before. Uh, in 2021, uh, Roaring Kitty started posting on Twitter that folks should pile into stocks uh, that were being short squeezed. That's when a lot of traders are betting against a company. They're actually betting on the stock price to go down. And they, um, Roaring Kitty, otherwise known as Keith Gill, that's his real name, convinced a lot of everyday traders and small investors to start buying up uh, shares in these companies. And in some instances, uh, stocks like GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry saw their stocks soar more than 1,000 percent in the matter of days. A lot of money was made during that time. A lot of money was lost as well. well you and I were talking about this yesterday. It spawned a movie, uh, congressional hearings. So, you know, Keith Gill had been off social media for about three years. He posted yesterday, and that's what uh, what sent these stocks soaring once again. And now the meme stock craze is spreading beyond GameStop, actually helping um, AMC. Right. So um, we again, this is a repeat of what we saw two, three years ago. AMC, we know the struggling movie chain, seeing its stock up better than 200 percent so far this week, not on fundamentals, not because there's any real reason here like profits or growth, but because a number of investors decided to push this stock higher. And I think it's some it's really risky business, Kira. I mean, it's sort of fascinating to watch happen in real time, but there's a lot of risk involved, too. Yeah, it is. And what would you tell the average person at home who's thinking, hmm, let's put some money into this? Yeah, it's enticing. Um, but again, you have to walk into these things with your eyes wide open. You know, call me old fashioned, but I like to invest on the fundamentals, things like, you know, profits and growth. Uh, just to give you an idea, GameStop just came out with earnings recently. They lost money. Sales are declining. Massive layoffs. The stock is up better than 100 percent in two in two days. How long can that last? So I, I think if you time it right um, and you have the money to spare, some money can be made. But again, the losses can outweigh the gains real quick, Kira. Yeah, exactly. All right, Alexis, thanks so much.